Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say besides that. Uh, we have Carl Waite and Kirill Sama. Um, Yeah, stream's good. We live. Uh, so basically, this is gonna be a semis final match. The winner moves on to the final. Uh, loser, I don't know, just drops out. I think they get. I think these guys are guaranteed to have gold stat points regardless, though. So I don't think it matters too much to them. Um, but obviously, like winning FLC three would be a decent title. So Kurosawa wins RPS. He's gonna start first. Starts off the pot of greed. Already plus one. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, pot and a graceful. Okay. Does he have the serpent to go along with this? Because if he does, then that's a really, really strong opening. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Kira's not a serpent. Discards Don Zaluk and Rota instead. But either way, he's still up like... he He's still going to be up... Uh, well, he's, right now he's plus two, but at, um, on Carl's turn, he's going to be up uh, at least plus one. Normal's breaker sets up back row and passes. He's still like five cards deeper into his deck than Kuro is though. That's right than Carl is though. So that's notable for sure. <coughs> oh my gosh. Uh Carl just cards under dragon. To search two from his deck. Almost try, probably pitches a Thunder Dragon to pop the breaker. <coughs> this is actually why I don't really like normal something breaker turn one, because it doesn't really net you any advantage. And it's not like they're gonna set back row unless they can clear the breaker anyways. Cause then your opponent would just be throwing cards away. Um but if you didn't have another play then I, I suppose breaker wasn't terrible. End phase dust tornado on the back row. Pops ring, so that's kind of big. Uh, so now, basically with just like a 1600 body on the field, if Kuro has any follow-up play, then... Well, one, you should be able to clear the tribe, and two, you should be able to do... To probably um, merge the life point deficit a bit. This was Abyss Soldier. Just runs over the tribe. I agree with that. There's no point bouncing it back to Carl's hand. Just take the pl the plus one you get off battling it normally and then just go from there. Sets two back rows. Pass his turn. Um, I guess given Carl's hand, if he did breaker and then if he had a base soldier in hand, I don't really fault him for that. Snatch on... On uh, an abyss soldier, does he have the MST or dust? He has the book though, okay, which is basically just as good. Carl T sets and passes. You probably taught the MST or probably was saving it in hand for whatever reason. MST is a scapegoat though, that's not what, that's not 
the best thing in the world. Because Carl's walling up. Let's see how Kiro deals with this. Goes for Ryota. Uh, is he getting Warrior Lady here? Maybe? Just swing into the Zen Monster, whatever it might be. I'd probably get Warrior Lady if I were him. You could also, um, oh, he's taking Swordsman. Oh, that's even better. I didn't know he mained like that. Swordsman's gonna pop the set monster. Uh, the pistol just gonna get flipped back up. Um, yep, I agree with that. Yep, popping nice, popping nice and is huge, I think. But, uh, Carl does now have Chaos Fodder. And then Abyss Soldier clears another token. Carl, uh, Kiro sits in their back row. Carl just passes. Oh. I think DB glitched for... For... Oh, Carl's saying misclick. Okay, hold on. Alright, so what's, what, what's happening here? Oh, okay, so so Carl's just gonna turn auto draw off and just play his turn normally. So those two turns just basically never happened. Carl's gonna play Pot of Greed. Let's see if he draws the meta. Though I'm pretty sure those two back rows from Kuro are live. He does have the metamorphosis. Uh so Carl's just playing Chaos Control, I think. And Kiro's playing aggro, I think, or something? Maybe? Yep. Uh the try beats a ring like I like I predicted. I thought it was gonna be met with some sort of back row, but um Carl passes. I mean, given his his field scenario right now, I kinda agree with, with that. Um, Abyss Soldier is going to connect for 18, I think, here, after Sangan and Swordsman um, clear the two tokens. So Skiko didn't really do anything besides just being forced to be chained. Unfortunately. And I guess it also baited out this back row here. So I guess that wasn't too bad, but like... I don't know, unless Carl has LV, I don't think he's going to be able to... Or LV or like pre mat I don't think he's going to be able to. Oh, he has a call for for Donnie too. That's big. So now Carl's in a really really tough spot. Chaos control against Agro. Okay, that's what I thought. I actually don't have the deck list up right now, but I'll pull them up um, after this match. That set monster is going to be met with another Mystic Swordsman attack, unless that's Mirror Force. But I think... No, well, he probably doesn't have a Water Monster, but if he does, he'd probably bounce a set card. <laughs> Damn, Zalu. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Waters aren't saying anything, unfortunately. Um. I think if I were Kuro, just to risk. Not risk Mirror Force, I'd probably turn the Abyss Soldier to defense and then attack if I don't have Serve in my hand to mass set card. Oh, I see. I don't know why Carl held duo this entire time, but I suppose there isn't really anything worth doing. I don't know. I would I would have activated the duo after I saw the sand can, if anything. Actually. Yeah, so he did what I thought he'd do. I agree with that play. Um, 
Actually, no. He, well, he normaled the Sangan the same turn that he called for Donnie, right? So, I guess I can't fault him too much for that. Kills the Moth. So the back row is not Mirror Force. And Carl's going to be left top decking in answer to this giant board. <laughs> Carl asks, are you using Dawn's effect? And Kuro's saying, of course. It was the last T-Drag, which he searched off the, the first one. But even then, like, having nothing is better than having something, you know? Carl top decks. And just scoops it up. So that's 1-0 for Kuro. Yeah, Jazz. I like I like uh, I like a bisted defense mode as well. I I wholeheartedly agree with that play. There was no point risking Mirror Force there because it because like Mirror Force just nets him a plus two for no reason, and you'd still have a body on board if anything. Oh, it looks like Kisa's gonna hop on. Sorry, Kizaru Tengu's gonna hop on. Oh, hold up. That's weird. That's weird. Oh, I see why. Okay, hold on. Oh, yo, Kiza, I think now I can hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, hi. What's up? Uh, can you send me the deck list so I I can say something uh, not mm -hmm. stupid about what's happening? Mm -hmm. You can hear me as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear yeah? you. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. I think, my, I think my yeah, I think my voice settings were not were not updated, which is why um, I couldn't hear anyone beforehand. But you're good now. Hmm. Thanks for joining me on commentary. Yeah, but um, but there's some echo, I think. Yeah. I don't know yeah. why. Oh, there's some echo. Yeah, yeah. I think there's me. always going to be. Your... I think it's going to be always a tad bit of echo, but uh, I think I've done the best I can to like eliminate it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um. Let me just see. Because I actually don't have okay, the deck so. list. I don't have the deck list up right now, but I, I'm going to go get them right now. Mm, uh, so, Kurosama opens with Duo. Yeah, those are the first against, Duo. Against that deck on turn 2 is not always a good idea. Yeah, I actually don't know why you didn't side Duo. Sorry, why you didn't side out Duo. No, no, you keep it in, but you wait for if, when he has like two cards in hand. Yeah, but like even then, I usually just side it out because I'd rather just side in dust shoots because that obviously does the same thing as duo, without, you know, like just like hitting like a T drag for no reason, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's because I always want. Concern, like, but yeah, I always want like max value eating, duos if I'm gonna play it. Yeah, I think that that the the chaos monsters though is really crucial for the deck. Yeah, that's true. But like dust shoot does the same thing without, you know, not um. No, I, I like to have both. Value. Yeah, that's fair. I guess it uh, depends on what you value out of the card, but I usually tend to side it out. Oh, actually, goes starts out with a Wang Hu. He swings right into so the center. The, the face down, yeah. Uh, the face down sh should be like 
<laughs> Let me think. Uh, I think it's like... If you set the ring, it could be Fate. There's a, there's a chance. It's a yeah, fate. there could be a chance but... it's Fate. I'm thinking either Fate or like Dark Mimic or Divergy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a... If you protected it, it's probably Mimic plus Suku maybe. Oh, was he bluffing? Because he's... Oh, okay, yeah, it's Mimic, it's Mimic. That's what I thought. You could easily have like a Tsuku here. Mm -hmm. Or something. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just move that to the side. Um, so just looking at their side decks real quick. Do you have access to this at all? You no, 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 right? no, I don't. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So... So looks like So I think Kuro is signing triple dust shoot. Hmm, okay. So those probably came in for sure. Um, okay, so order well, is not bad here, but mm -hmm. uh as an agro player this is not the spot you want to find yourself in. Yeah, because he has to pick right now, right? Oh, this attack. Oh, yeah. uh, attack uh, like. Not sure if I agree with that. Yeah, I will attack the mimic. I will attack the mimic, and then because like unless Carl's a tribute monster, right? Then the Sangan never gets its effect off, and the Warlord really just keeps. Walking. Yeah, but the only tribute monster he has is standard dragon. Oh, that's true. And he didn't show one. Mm -hmm. Also, losing use the pressure from your monster this way. Mm -hmm. So, card weight is a, uh, set card is not Sako because it would have used it 100%. Mm -hmm, I agree. Um, so, I wonder what it could be. Maybe escape good. Yeah, I can see it being goat. Um, it's not book either. Because he would have probably used book I as well. well it could not, be book. It could be book, yeah, actually, on second thought. Um, book, scapegoat. Yeah, my read is a scapegoat here. Yeah. Yeah, still not really sure why Kuro didn't attack the Mimic, though. Because I think the chance of him having Tsukiyomi is a lot higher than him having, like, a Tribute Monster. Cause Top I'm deck in Thunder Dragon, basically. Yeah. I mean, he didn't have any of those, so you can make an argument that that's three hundred dragons and the one two Tsukuyomis. Yeah. Oh, which is true. And I think Carl's only playing one Suk, as well. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So maybe. Okay. So I can't fault him too much for that, I guess. Okay, Breaker. I would like him to not use the charge here. Oh yeah, because no, he, he knows it's not. Oh, it's okay. Both. Yeah, it's okay. A... Yeah, oh, in any case, you, you wouldn't have gotten any value from this play. So yeah. hey, it's better to keep the charge here. Mm -hmm. Um, something okay, else. Okay, you just have to drag. Oh, he's using two drag. Okay. Something else interesting to note is that I think Kuro's citing oppression, so those may have came in. But most likely uh, not. Yeah, but it, most likely not. If he has an oppression, he should be using it right now. Yeah. Um. So he doesn't. Yeah, have exactly. Because that's not like a like a meta. Like you like you can't chain oppression to to the inherent special summons, right? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. In Gods, you can. Mm -hmm. um, as for Carl, I think... Yeah, Tor Torrential is fine for Carl. Carl is really happy with that yeah. trade-off. Uh, Carl could side in Jinzo's, Kaiku's, Lightning Vortex, 
and hmm. Decrees. I think those are the Decrees and maybe T Roar. I don't think you cited the Decrees though. I think you'd cite in T Roar. No, T Roar is useless against the Aquedex. Oh really? Yeah, because oh okay, return. Oh, return. Because um if you use T Roar mm-hmm. against a decent aggro player, it's like always poking you with a monster max of two monsters. Yeah, that's true. So it's like just a minus one. She needs the mimic. No, oh, it's game. Oh yeah, it is. It is. You're right. I think I would have snatched the sand gun first though. For I mean, no, I, I guess it doesn't matter because he didn't have aggro. But in the odd chance he did have aggro, I think I would have snatched first. Yeah, yeah. The odd chance is zero though because mm-hmm. <laughs> there's yeah, no ex- aggro. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> So that's 1-1. One, one. Let me update that real quick. It's best of 5, right? It is best of 5, yes. Yeah, anyway, as an aggro, as an aggro player, you should be looking to never overextend. Mm-hmm. So the T-Roar is pretty useless against them. Mm-hmm. Unless you have a Solomon, of course. Yeah. Uh, none of these guys are running Solomons in their decks, though. Oh, Kura's not playing Solomons? Yeah, he's not. Wow. Not to my knowledge. Let me just double check. But I think looking at his list, he is not playing Solomon. Let me just double check. That's weird. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, sorry. I lied. He is playing Solomons. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Yeah. I was... I I would found it weird. I I think I just glossed over it at first because I was just looking at the side predominantly. But yeah, he has playing solemns. Yeah, uh, Solomon is one of the best cards against Chaos decks. I'm just gonna reassure them that it's best of five. I think Kiro knows though. I think I'm just reassuring Carl. Yeah, yeah because the, the problem is that with priority, the Chaos Monsters are, are always uh, at least go, go, go even. So mm-hmm. uh, if you don't have Solemns, you can't you can do anything versus them. Or a little pressure flip face up mm-hmm. before the summon it. So. Mm-hmm. Oppression to me is like old school Vandy's emptiness. Because I played in, in like the formats where emptiness was a thing, but I think I only played in one format before they banned Oppression. It's better than um, Vanity. Yeah. yeah, sorry, it's worse. It's worse. Yeah, it is worse. Because Vanity, you have control over when you want to shut it off, right? You don't really have that with Oppression, unless you, like, minus one yourself, an MSD, or, like, Heavy. Yeah, because you can chain Vanity, like, to Monster Reborn, and it works. Yeah. While you can't uh, do that with the old Oppression. Mm-hmm. Old Oppression, you just have to activate draw phase, right? It's like a... Yeah, or, or, uh, or like standby. You, yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Jazz is saying Kiro chose not to main deck Sakus, but he cited it. I don't think it. Yeah, I don't think it'd come in for this match though. I think you're right. I don't think there's any reason you would want to side Saku against Chaos because you want to hit the Chaos monsters before they can actually even do damage yeah, on the field yeah. of priority. Hmm, Setting to face down. So yeah. uh, Kuro shouldn't have a solid here. Mm hmm. Because setting the, the solemn alone is pretty useless. Yeah. So either he has um, an end full of monsters and one solemn, or mm-hmm. uh, he's trying to manage his back row. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this attack is weird if he doesn't have a solemn face now. Mm-hmm. It's actually strange to mirror for us, though. That's rough. Does he have the solemn for this? Or a book in hand? Or hey, even if he has a book hand, it's just a disaster. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. That's how you shouldn't uh, play aggro decks in these spots. Mm-hmm. 
You should just poke with one guy, see what happens, and then summon yeah, the next guy yeah, if he has something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this play is like. Yeah, this, uh, like either way, he's going minus, right? That's the thing. Yeah, it, it went minus one for no reason. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not that, that you, you're you not ever going to uh, win against them in, in a second. Yeah. Oh, the Kree is huge, I think. Yeah, the Kree is pretty rough. Yeah. I think something interesting to note, though, is that he would side the Kree in and keep his traps in at the same time. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Because he is expecting it to get solemned. So it's not like you can't renounce to middle first intervention tribute. tribute. Mm. Is that like we used to do in in this TCG? In, uh, like when, when Herald was around, for example, uh, people were playing three decrees and one solemn in their decks. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kaiku. Kaiku. Here is a problem. Mm -hmm. Also, n not that now he doesn't have the Book of Moon, which is the only trap that isn't a trap. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Tsuku helps at least. Yeah. But even then, yeah, like, really like, he kind of he, he kind of like wasted the book for no reason because it, he just lost it to Kaiku anyways. Yeah, but he didn't expect the Kaiku. Yeah. It, was, it, is a, it is a smart sideboard plan from Carl Waiti because he has Royal Decree and mm -hmm. a big monster to beat, to beat down the yeah. Argo monsters that are usually smaller but with interesting effects like Langu. Mm -hmm. Ice Queen's so asking, a why is he signing Kaiku versus Aggro? And it's just because Kaiku is bigger than everything else, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I think in the same vein, usually against aggro, um, I side in skill dark, just because it's like 19 and it's like bigger than, I guess, like yeah, of course, whatever of course, Kaiku's yeah, they one of the best cards against dark decks. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so card took a risk here by setting the rank assailant, mm -hmm. but I think it will probably pay off. Yeah. Kaiku's just going to swing for 18, probably banish. Yeah, banish the tribe for sure. Yeah, Banish the And the Assailant, I think. What do you Banish the Assailant or Wanghu? I think Wanghu is probably... Uh, yeah. Assailant, I, I would go for Assailant. Okay. Because if he has, like, a Prima, he can't uh, kill the Kaiku. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. He actually does Banish the Wanghu, though. He's probably thinking I, more I, so, like, long-term, so, like, his, like... His yeah, um, the scapegoat metamorphosis plays, you know, go on uninterrupted. I I think there's reason to side both there, but that that's probably a tell for. I mean, oh, yeah, is, I, I, did, I forgot that he has a Tsuku in hand, so yeah, what I said is uh, less true than. I'm pretty sure that the book was probably for the Suk though, and we actually see them he, see him okay. the judge. I would have liked Carl to use book on his Kaiko. Yeah, because he, I agree. He's, he's, he could have he could have uh, been lucky mm -hmm. and have uh, Kuro have had no monsters in hand other than Etsuko. Mm -hmm. That would have saved the Kaiko for the turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, top that's uh, normal. Man. On the faith. Faith. Uh, what? Could... That's not the biggest nobleman. It's not like Carl had like Pot or Graceful in the grave, but that's still a really good knock, for sure. I mean, even just getting back Book of Moon is yeah, pretty cool. That's true. Also, also wait, is he missing a life in the graveyard? Yeah, he's missing a life in the graveyard, so that's that's what really matters. <laughs> oh, that's a good, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> also, Card is playing three fates, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jess is saying, oh, oh, I, I see what you guys meant with the book. Because then Suki has no target to put face down. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah, what, yeah. You mean. I see what you mean. Okay, so another face down. It's, uh, it, I think it's a mimic at this point. Yeah. There's no, there's no other set face down. Mm -hmm. I think that I know at least that makes sense here. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
could be Dekoichi, but that's also very unlikely because I think Dekoichi is probably the one. It's probably one of the few cards you'd side out first, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this is a pretty big play. Yeah. Because pushing uh, is huge. Having Serpent and Abyss Soldier is pretty unlikely without the Saiyan Surge, so... Yeah. He has the rank yeah, for the Abyss Soldier, though, so that's that's pretty big. If he has a Book of Moon, he's probably going to fire it, because... Okay, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty crucial. That Soldier, like... if you, When you're when you are ahead, mm -hmm. Soldier is, like, the most unbeatable card <laughs> that's in mm -hmm. Agro Dex. Mm -hmm. Like now, if he has a Prem or a Call, he probably wins the game. Yeah, that's true. Let's see if he has it. I think I think you're exceptionally right because Carl's hand is looking pretty dead at this point. But he does not. Yeah, that should be a mimic at this point. Yeah. yeah. I think Carl right now is just trying to unbreak his hand. Yeah, but, he needs a Thunder Dragon at this point. Mm -hmm. Or a charity into, into this scanning some lights. Yeah, I agree. Shuffle his hand, so he's probably going to play something, okay. Just T sets again. Setting a, setting a face down, okay. So, uh, Torrential Tribute is, is the only big trap that hasn't mm. uh, passed yet. So that's a concern for sure. Mm -hmm. So like here, I, I would like Kuro to not summon anything at this point and try to. Oh, oh he, he just, he just could be really. It. This could be bad. I think. I think. Yeah, since this, is, no, this is like this is yeah. so bad. <laughs> yeah, okay, can, can, yeah, can, because yeah. he has a Vanguin play. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think that Carl. I I am not a kind of player, but Carl here should say to him that. Uh, I think he can't, he's, yeah, I think he can't come back because if Carl like flipped an instant torrential tribute or he, or he was thinking about it. Yeah, exactly. I I would chuck him. I would chuck him there for sure. I think Kuro, even though yes, he's playing aggro. I think he's playing a bit too aggro because he has card advantage right now, right? He has no reason to play this recklessly. Yeah. Also, even if he has a solemn face now for the torrential, it yeah. still puts you in a bad spot if you need to do yeah. solemn that torrential face now. Because like if he, he like if that face down is a is a light monster, for example, I don't know what what if there is one or if he top if he card top takes a thunder dragon, you are in, mm -hmm. in a the worst spot possible. Yeah, let me just look at his deck list again. Um, like does he have something some else something else to put in the no, as a light? his, his, his only other thunder. light would be th the three thunder dragons, which he hasn't drawn into yet. Okay, 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 okay. So basically, he has to either top Thunder Dragon and then unbreak his hand, assuming he has yeah, I mean, Gale Lotus in there. It's kind of unfortunate from card that he's gone through half of his deck without seeing a Graceful or a, a yeah. Thunder Dragon. No Graceful, no Pot, no Thunder Dragon. Yeah, it's pretty unlucky. Mm -hmm. He needed um, to set both of his assailants too, which sucks. Mm -hmm. No Azura too, so we can't even like draw into Azura. He literally only has Thunder Dragons. Mm. Which is interesting. Or, or he could go like charity this can in BLS, that's the only other Yeah, way. That's, that's too. Okay, he has okay. to attack with Tetsuko at this point. Yeah. Just in the off chance it's the Koji or Okay, this like is kinda that, weird. Yeah. Setting the Sangan is pretty strange. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I would have just summoned it uh, in attack and uh, try to crash into the other Sangan. Yeah. Oh, may oh, maybe okay. Maybe as like he has no defensive trap face now, so he was worried about like him getting a Don Zedok. That's why. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think that Don's okay. If he escapes, yeah, so I don't think that Don Zedok would have done it. I don't think it matters. But yeah, the play usually in this format anyway, just because knock exists, is like you always normal summon Sangan face up, right? Just so they have you, to like... What you were saying? Oh, no, I was saying like in, in GOAT format, right? Um, mm -hmm. You normally want to normal summon the Sangan so that you don't get... So that it doesn't get knocked, right? 
yeah, most of the times you need to do that, but I think that at this point he, he thought that protecting his life points was more, was more important than anything yeah, else. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, it hits the circle with the duo. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't have a light, it's like a brick. Yeah. So. If he doesn't have his... He probably has another one, man, to be honest. Yeah. That's true. If he if he's if he's held and like passed, okay. So if he doesn't control. draw anything here, it could, one play could be to not get the serpent back to not let Kuro use dust shoot. Mm -hmm. But he is okay. It's not going for that. Because that decoy is really important. Yeah. Yeah, I think like, him waiting a turn on a serpent could have been a, a fine play. Oh, there's the tarantula. Oh. Uh, oh, there's the Kree, though. I don't know about this one. Yeah. Does Kree have the solemn for this? I, I think here you probably would solemn, right? Yeah, you need. If you have solemn, you need to solemn here because it's going to be dead anyway. Yeah. He doesn't have a solemn, okay. Is he playing the astronators? Um, Kuro? Let me check. He's, like, playing, he's, three, he's, he's, he's playing two dust. Okay. Just gonna kill the tokens because he can't deal with uh, the the Koichi. Yeah. No. This is an awkward spot right now. Mm -hmm. I think it, uh, I don't know. That, that tarantula is. I, I'm pretty sure it's like 100% wrong. Because like. Even if, like, you want you want to keep the torrential for uh, the chaos monsters, right? The chaos monster, and you have a sanguine in play, so yeah, like you just summon the Tsuku, get over the decoy, and kill the token, and bounce the Tsuku back. What mm -hmm. the worst it could happen is that he summons a chaos monster, yeah, and you torrential. Okay, now now Carl is, has yeah, seen everything. Yeah, now right now, now Carl has has his light in the grave. So I think you will just. Go off, yeah. Oh, okay. There's the graceful too. So I think he yeah. Th he's either gonna draw like chaos or could be LS. It'd be really unfortunate if he didn't see either. Yeah, right now. I think I think he just missed the game in this turn. Yeah. He probably probably going like uh, be LS and chaos so and missed the game. Mm -hmm. Breaker. Even as a breaker. I'll just I guess I'll have the off chance it's a book, right? Yeah, well, I don't think even Mook will save him. Yeah, it won't. He does chain it though because there's no other reason not to. Yeah, yeah. BLS. Game. Yeah, this game. He just he just swings both, right? And that's it. Yeah, just just needs to attack with BLS. Doesn't even need to attack with the coach. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, that card deserve, deserves to win this game. I think Kuro didn't play optimally. Mm -hmm. Like as an aggro deck, uh, if you don't have Solemn, you need to really manage your resources because your opponent is always going to have uh, more card advantage than you. Mm -hmm. So like throwing two monsters on turn one is a bad idea most of the time. Yeah. I'm gonna get that score real quick. So it's two one for Carl, right? So if he wins one more, then he moves on to the finals. Yeah. yeah also, um, I don't really like uh, to play that matchup against Chaos Turbo as an aggro deck. Oh. Yeah, I think Chaos has a pretty good matchup against aggro. No. Yeah. If he like, if he has a, uh, if he also has like the, those decrees, it's <laughs> it's pretty impossible to win. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Kuro now is a big information about the decrees. Yeah. At least. Um, just looking at the list again. Let me just see. Uh, could you could you send me them so I can look at, look at them? Mhm. Mm I think in this case he might. If he side out the Dutch nose at all, he might probably throw them back in. Okay, wait, he's glitched. Uh, wait, glitched. 
two spaces in my hand. I'm gonna show chat. I think he's just. I think he's gonna post the. Yeah, the screenshot. The, the screenshot in the watcher's chat. Yeah, Also, Cure opened up with 7 for whatever reason. You lo you see 7 cards? I, I see 7, yeah. No, I see 6. I think just like, <laughs> it's super bugged. Yeah, it's super bugged. Yeah, the B is like... I'll, t I'll tell Kuro to, to... Oh, dueling book. Why must you do this to us? Yeah. He always fades us. I know. I think they're talking in Discord, though. Hold up. Because I think I can quit this, this spectating mode. I think they're probably talking in DMs. I, can, I don't see anything in the Discord. But yeah, like... Probably gonna yeah, normal yeah, it for that reason. I don't know how we found it. He did a normal. mistake. Yeah. yeah. I'm confused as to why why they're banishing the cards though. Can you explain that? Um, they, they do this to recreate. recreate. The yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Uh, That's so the only way to conceal the information. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you should have just summoned Sangon. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think this is. Better. I mean, I think it's it's fine either way. Because if you if you want to use Blade Knight effect, you're not going to get it if mm. you have a Sangan in play. Yeah, but you could just like hold Blade Knight later, and if you summon Sangan here, like what's that face on card? It might be like Knight Assailant, right? Yeah, but uh, it's so, like that mimic. But like if he's T setting here, then if he attacks with uh, Sangan, then he's just gonna get Knight Assailant. So mm -hmm. you're you're happy. Uh, you you think that's net ascent one hundred percent? It could be. No, I think it's uh, it's a mimic. Yeah, I mean it, it might not be. I don't have no idea. It could be a mimic. Could also be serpent. I think. The, no, the serpent uh, is not the best. It's not a good play. Maybe. Yeah, but it also depends on how dead Carl's hand is. If it is dead at all. I mean, I, I think the, we'll the most happen. likely monster. Uh, I mean, the, 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 I, the, the word is wrong. The monster that Carl wants face down here is a thing. Yeah, that's true. I think... Oh, he's just going to swing into it. Oh, he's getting, like, sakut or something. Yeah. I, th it's, I think... It's I think if, oh, never oh, mind. Broke. I guess not. I, I, I'm thinking, though, like... um. Just, just, just like the way that he played into that, I think the I battle doubt it was saying anything he wants destroyed. No, no, yeah, yeah, it's not mm -hmm. the same at this point. Yeah, it's but a flip. It probably, it probably, it percent. probably is mimic. Then I think you're right. Normal Sangan, just yeah, I, I agree with that. That must, that must be a mimic or a deck. Mm -hmm. Is he echoing to anybody, or is it just me? Uh, it's just sort you. of it's it's sort of echoing, but like it's not yeah. too bad. It's not too bad. I'm just I'm just wondering if the males knows that there's just something wrong with those speakers. Yeah, that, it was a mimic. Mm. So now uh, Tsuko would be pretty gross <laughs> because it could it could get over the blade knight since mm. it has uh, pretty bad stats. Oh, yeah, heavy storm for one. For one. Heavy storm for one. Yeah, he, might, he wants to make sure that uh, this super is going to resolve. Like you shouldn't always get the maximum value out of your cards. Mm -hmm. I remember when heavy storm was legal. <laughs> <It's not. laughs> it yeah, was crazy. 
I see Mario Day Yu Gi Oh now and like all like the link shit. And I'm like, yeah, no thanks. I, I see shit like Masterpiece and I'm like, yeah, no thanks. I mean, I I still play Mario Yu Gi Oh. You'd be surprised how many uh, budget decks can actually a hundred damage. Like Gradle was uh, top the top the uh, regional at one point in the past four months. Who cares uh, about Gradle? I care about Ring of Destruction on Dark Mimic level one. Yeah, that's it's always correct. Yeah, I I think I think the life points don't matter too much. I think it's more so just the fact that Carl's the fact that he already uses heavy storm here and he's just gonna be able yeah, to... I use an old Sangin too. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, okay, I, I don't I don't, I, agree, I don't agree with this. Yeah, this is really bad. This, yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, because this even is... if he doesn't have, even if he doesn't have, um, what's his face, um, Sukiyomi, he does have a Thunder Dragon in his hand, so he could just sacrifice. Yeah, exactly. And then summon yeah. Chaos Sorcerer and banish the Sangin. Yeah, this is one hundred percent. I'm sure of this. But if we're if we're making the read that he does have the Sukiyomi, I mean, it's fine to just. Kill that and then make him um, summon Chaos or Cersei, and then you can try to out it. I mean, I'm just yeah. assuming that he has what he. I'm just assuming he has that, otherwise he wouldn't have done that. Sangin. Oh, he actually is going for that play. He doesn't. Yeah, know no, like. Oh, uh, okay. So that's oh, like got Chaos Sorcerer too. Yeah, I mean, like at least if you if you ring a destruction the the Dark Mimic, mm -hmm. then he can't summon Thunder Dragon. He can't summon Tsukiyomi. So then he, yeah. it forces him to have Chaos or Sir. Yeah. It's going to happen at some point, so at least get him, get it out. Exactly. I mean, he could, like, book it back down with um with Tsukiyomi then. But I don't know how good that is. I guess maybe if he's not running Sash. Let me, let me take a look at the list. Oh, he is running Snatch. He may have a knock too. Hmm. If he had knock, yeah, then I agree. But if he didn't, but I mean, it's, he has like a lot of outs to chaos or so. Yeah. Yeah, but still, this this is not the spot you want to find yourself in. Mm hmm. And he searched um sinister, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he must have like an abyss for him, man. So soldier, sorry, not worry. Oh, Kaiku. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the sideboard plan of card is pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Eye for an eye, I guess. Uh. Yeah. Like, I mean, Book of Moon is really important against Carl. I don't know if that's. How you should play this. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least like a. Uh, uh, here's Breaker. Yeah. Okay. Breaker oh. a book. I think, if anything, the DD Assailant um, establishes field presence. So I suppose I can get behind the book. Yeah, but it's useless against the Chaos Sorcerer. Alright, yeah, he's trying to snipe the Chaos Sorcerer here. Yeah, 25%, it's not a lot. Does not hit it. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, but if he has a Chaos Sorcerer now, I think that's I think not he, game, I think, but pretty yeah. close. Well, he did also take Serp, so... You got another Book of Moon. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. I was, thinking, I was thinking Abyss Soldier, but he just have... He just banished again, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter if he has that. Yeah, this is not yeah. looking great. Did he top that? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, he, he played it from... No, no, because he discarded a uh, card from uh, his far right. So he didn't top that. He didn't top it, no. Mm -hmm. like he discarded the book from his far right. So. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, anyway, it it was pretty... Even if he top decked it, it's, it was like a concern from the start of the game, so... Yeah. It's not like you don't expect it. Is 
The swordsman's gonna swing into mm. the face down. That still doesn't really get him anywhere, though. The Zork still... No. He still doesn't deal with the Zork at all. Let's see if he has his notch. He does not. Hmm. Oh, he gets a book back. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He does me think Swordsman. Yeah, Swordsman destroys the monster before it's ever flipped face up. Oh, it does, <laughs> yeah. You're right, I forgot Swordsman had that. All right, yeah, he's just gonna attack for damage. I agree with this. That was a weird turn. Oh, he's game. No, he is game. That's game, yeah. I feel wait, is it? Yeah, that's that's why it was a weird turn because there was no reason to actually like flip that breaker up. No, it's not the game actually. It should be. After BLS attacks twice, that should be game, dude. That's seven hundred. No, no, no. He, he stays at two hundred life points. That's twenty-one. Oh yeah, you're right. He has two hundred. I mean, if he has a snatch, it's... I mean, if he has a snatch, then he, like, really, really baited him into playing the BLS. I mean, if yeah. he maybe he doesn't have the in hand, but... He I, I think it. snatch or... Does he play tribe? He should, right? He plays tribe. Yeah, okay. So snatch or tribe, I think, were probably his only outs. Or LV, if he... Runs I mean, tribe, back. he has to discard his Sinister and another guy for it. That's true. Uh, let me just see. He does not play LV, but he has he does have tribe. Um, I think he just lost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that happened. Yeah, it's a good card, be this. I think I think it's important to note though that Carl did draw like two chaos monsters and somehow had a way to make them live. Um, in his first thirteen cards. Okay, so Carla goes to the finals. Yep. Cool. Ooh, he had the space type food even for the snatch stick. Yeah, oh that, that's God. why he went for it, bro. Yeah, the snatch was too crazy. I mean, if he didn't, that still would have been like a pretty sick bait to like flip that up and be like, make him attack me for all this damage and then just snatch and kill him. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, so Carl takes it 3 1. Yeah, Carl played really well. Mm -hmm. I think now yeah, we're going to like... have MMF and Shane. Uh, let me just pick them in Discord real quick. Kuro's deck was like pretty 